Greetings and welcome again to our program. I'm Larry Wessels, your host, I'm director of Christian Answers. I'm here with a good friend of mine, Jesse Waters, who has actually been to the Ukraine mm -hmm. country. And uh, why in the world, you being from San Francisco, California, were you way over there in the Ukraine, where the uh, Ukrainian church is located over there, the Eastern Orthodox Church, is predominant. So uh, give us a little uh, information about your, your trip and what you saw over there, particularly pertaining to the Eastern Orthodox churches. Right, saw. right, right. Well, a good buddy of mine, he says, hey, Jesse, what are you doing next week? I said, well, I don't have any plans. He says, well, let's go to Ukraine. I said, Ukraine, where's that? <laughs> this is way back about 15, maybe close to 20 years ago. And this is way before anybody had ever heard of Ukraine. Yeah. He said, come on, it's a great place. We'll go. So we got on the plane, we landed in Ukraine, and to make a long story short, I met this beautiful gal in Ukraine, and she was Russian Orthodox. Mm. And so she wanted me to go to church with her and all that kind of stuff. So mm. I figured, oh yeah, that'd be great. So this is my first experience with Russian Orthodox. Mm. Walked into the church, and the first thing you, you'll notice is it's very dark inside. Mm -hmm. And they've got candles lit everywhere. And I'm thinking, why, they don't have electricity in this place? I mean, they have so many candles that that's basically what your light source is. Mm -hmm. Then you walk in, and I'm walking in with her, and it's very dark, and you kind of get adjusted by the light from the candles. Then I started looking around. There's no pews. There's no place to sit down. You can only stand. And you look around, and I start realizing there's a bunch of caskets in here. And I go, what in the world is this? And I, I go over and I look down in one of the caskets and I go, there's somebody in here. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, what in the world? And I looked in and I go, wow. And I said, these are all dead bodies. There must have been, in this one church, there was probably maybe six or seven caskets with dead bodies in them. Do you remember what town in Ukraine you were in? Oh, Kiev. You were, oh, you're in the capital. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. This is in Kiev. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. And so we walked around there, and then she lit a few candles and said a few words, and we left. Really? So you weren't, you didn't stay for a main service or anything? Well, we were going to, but then it's all in, you know, Ukrainian or, oh, okay. or it might have been Latin for as far as I knew. Right. And so there wasn't really any any reason for me, for us to stay, because I couldn't okay. understand any of it anyway. Right. Yeah. So... So it was just kind of a bizarre thing to see in a church. It was more like visiting a mausoleum. Yeah, it was, it was like a funeral home without the cover for the caskets. Wow. And it was really, they had a bunch of, uh, you know, tapestries hanging you know, ancient tapestries hanging from the walls. Like a lot of icons, a lot of pictures. Right, of right, right. Dead saints and stuff right, like that. Right, right. And it, it really looked macabre. Yeah. When you when you walk into this place and you're going, wow. <laughs> so so you're uh, kind of referring to something that, where you felt like, uh, you know, you and me are close about the same age. So we remember those old movies, those old horror movies from the 1960s. That's right. That's right. You, you know, with, with Peter Laurie and uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. all those usual Dracula guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what it. That's what it looked like. You got the vibe of that from going into this place, and you're looking around, and it's dark. They don't let sunlight in at all. Wow. And then I'm, I'm looking around. And say, wow. I hope nobody gets out of this casket. <laughs> <laughs> or so, I'm getting out of here. Right. Yeah, so, so. And, and it reminds me of how it, that's not only peculiar to the Eastern Orthodox or Russian Orthodox. As you mentioned there's like Greek Orthodox. There's all right, these right, right. different brands of Orthodoxy. Uh, but pretty much they're all pretty uniform mm -hmm. in their doctrine and stuff mm -hmm. for the most part. Right. Uh, but it's, it's also sort of like a mirror image almost with diff some differences right. uh, with Roman Catholicism. Mm -hmm. Roman Catholicism is a lot bigger on like statues and things of that nature, more so than the tapestries you were talking about or mm -hmm. the... Uh, Pictures on the wall and all this kind of stuff. Right, right, right. But you, you have candles and everything. I remember when I was a kid growing up out in Schulenburg, Texas, uh, they had a big old Catholic church sitting up there. And I used to like to sneak in there because they used to have uh, like a county fair 
going on out there and everybody's out there drinking beer and there's polka bands and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. people doing all kinds of county fair type stuff. Right. Uh, and I would, as a kid, a small kid, like 10 or nine years old, something like that, I'd sneak into that big old Roman Catholic church that was up on this hill. They called High Hill. And uh, I'd go in there and place was just fairly similar to what you were just describing. It was kind of dark. Of course, it wasn't during their normal service hours, but but they let the door open, so I snuck in there and yeah. looked around. But they had just statues everywhere and all these candlesticks, and there were some candles still burning mm-hmm. in there when mm-hmm. I snuck in there. But uh, it was just a bizarre atmosphere because I was not raised Roman Catholic, so I wasn't used to a place of worship, you know, coming more out of the the, the Protestant tradition. You don't, right, right. Their churches don't look like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that was kind of amazing to me, but I, I kind of like just going there to see all the strange stuff you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> before I went back out with, where everyone else was. But uh, anyway, so I wanted to get a, an eyewitness to someone that's actually been there, right. seen everything, right. and uh, gone that route. But I understand those. Well, we have we have several videos on Eastern Orthodoxy, so if people want to see what actually goes on mm-hmm. inside there at different uh, Eastern Orthodox churches, we have just just contact Christian Answers TV, as our sign back here says, stands for Christian Answers Television. And uh, mainly I put all those on, and on our Roman Catholicism playlist, which has over 257 videos on it. We put a lot of time into those two religions because there's so many people in them. Mm. I think there's over a billion people in Roman, Catholic, Roman Catholicism alone. So, uh, anyway, this is just a little insert video we decided to add into this one here, mainly starring Rob Zins and myself uh, talking about uh, praying to the dead and things of that nature. So, uh, this is just to get a little more perspective, especially for someone that wasn't familiar with walking into a place that was full of caskets, but, <laughs> but no one jumped out of them, so that would well, that work out. that's a good part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, thanks a lot for uh, all right. be, being being here with me. For okay, this, my pleasure. Interview. Thanks so Appreciate much. it. All right. God, God bless pleasure. everybody. If you like our YouTube channel, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and then by also clicking the bell above to get an automatic update whenever we produce another YouTube video for our See Answers TV channel. Please share our videos with your friends and relatives. May God bless you. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what is done for Christ will last. See related videos by tapping or clicking screens.